All right, now we're going to get into more, a little bit more serious, but it's a murder suicide. And it got some stars in there. May, Floyd Mayweather, uh, one of his rappers that was on his label. Uh, What's his name? Er, Earl Hayes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the oh, man no. killed his woman. His wife. His wife. Let's. That's what. That's one. That's the number one thing here. Let's let's go ahead and say it. Guess what? There mm. are rich black people who actually get married. They're not just his girlfriend. That was his wife. Mm, mm, mm. Now, not to say that this is like some ideal of what black love is, because apparently that's the only time we can hear that there's a such the thing as black love. His wife. Is when there's a domestic violence type issue. And he killed her because allegedly she was sleeping with Trey Songs. Allegedly, she had done it two years ago, and he already knew about it, and was supposed to and be even getting if he over it. Two days ago, you ain't get, leave, man. It's like I tell, come on, why do people get all? What is going on with your people? It's like that one preacher, your favorite preacher in Louisiana. Remember, he killed up people and stuff because his wife was cheating with someone, a preacher in the congregation. And remember that? Yeah. You, you lost your mind. I didn't lose my mind. He should have killed that preacher. <laughs> you so violent and no wait a right. minute wait a minute wait a minute now folks be walking around talking about some you should shoot somebody who steal from you but but i i, I say that about but do they got a badge <laughs> that's what's sad about all this what is wrong with people you got women not to jump off the subject remember that one woman in alaska i think her name was kim tran she cut off her boyfriend's penis and threw it in the trash can What's wrong or with the that? toilet down the toilet. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just, I'm just bullshit. But that's what's sad. That's a, abu- that's abusive. That's a horrible thing to do. Cut off. See what I'm saying? And it's yeah. let it go. Move the hell on. Why people can't move on? Because they haven't been taught anything different. What's actually been killing me about the news coverage on this uh, murder suicide is now we're hearing that um, Floyd Mayweather might have been on the phone with Earl Hayes right before it happened. He was FaceTiming. They were FaceTiming, so he may have seen part of it or or that he even pumped him up a little bit, like, man, you should let her go. But that's how boys talk. But yeah, that's how dudes talk. Like, when she cheated on you, fuck, you know. But this is my point. You're so wrong. I would slap you, but I might hit something else and knock something else over on this table. Anyway, here's my point. If you've been around L.A. or music industry, you recognize that these rappers are all like five foot two and 120 pounds. So you saying had a little man's complex? Maybe. But I'm just saying in general, even though they have these big, larger than large persona, they all the same size as Lil Wayne. They all little like that. That's nice, cute. But you want to take a domestic violence issue. It doesn't work with a little man. So you got to bring Floyd Mayweather into the picture. He wasn't even there. And but he was I, on the phone while well, FaceTiming with the, the LAPD just interviewed him. But I'm saying he wasn't there at the time. And then the article goes, oh, he has domestic violence issues him, himself. Which he did he, jail time and, for that. And all this kind of stuff. So he, oh, but man. we're still putting this big black face on it. Of course. Well, that's what they do. That, you just sat there and talked about the, the, the chick who was probably a little bitty, little bitty white girl. I'm going to go ahead with the stereotype. I'm, I'm going to say she a little bitty white girl. I ain't going to say she was some 300-pound broad. Which one? The Kim Train. And oh, yeah. I don't. I think she's Asian. I don't I don't know. But but there's been white women who've cut their I mean, member. I, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's kind of a common, that's kind of a common thing. That's the first person. Those are the and first you know what? When it say. happens, though, it's a funny because, like, if you go read comments after all those type of things happen, you hear, like, like women responding like, yeah, she should have done something. He did probably did this. He probably did that. Yeah. Just like how you kind of joked earlier when, yeah. But yeah. when a man, because the man went too far, you don't have to touch a woman with your hands. You don't have, that's just wrong. There's like, don't get me wrong. She was a pretty girl, yeah, but you can go get another one. Every When I see this, it like it pisses me off to the point where like I lose respect for the man. Like, dude, so what? Choose one, lose one. Lose one, choose one. That's like you you put supposed to be raised that way. You ain't supposed to be sitting there like, oh my God. How old was he? And that's probably he was like what, twenty five? He was still young. But still, that's that's it's I, mean, I got my heart broke. I got cheated on in college. 
It was pain. It felt like a knife. It felt like someone stabbing me. But I never thought about like, where's my gun? I never, I never even like <laughs> that thought process never even happened. And then, you know, a year or two later, me and the girl was real cool with each other. Mm, yeah. Funny. You know, time does that to people. But then there's that whole emotional thing. Like you said before, maybe it's wrong that there's somewhat of a double standard, but there is a difference emo- in the emotional makeup of men and women and, and the way they supposed to quote unquote, get over things like, um, you know, just like you just said, somebody have that reaction, you lose respect for them as a person. It's like in the Godfather. You remember that look Tom Hagen gave that, that movie producer when he was talking about the reason he wouldn't give Johnny the role. Cause the, cause of some girl or whatever, he looked at him like you finna fuck up money over a chick when you got chicks left and right. Really? That's my whole point. So That's why he ended up with, in the bed with, with his with horse. his horse's head. Yes. So, but this is this is what I'm saying. It's, it might be a double standard, but then there's an emotional game involved, and the media is playing that same emotional game with us because it just doesn't look right unless it's coming from a big black guy. That's that's just like you brought up Adrian Peterson a little while ago with the, the with his kid, violence. the messy violence of the kid. Ray Rice won his appeal and got signed. And. And got signed. Why? Because his wife came out for him, basically. So in that interview, so she what basically you're saying, came out. So what out. you're saying is, when Charlie Sheen shot his girl years ago, the one that's with John Travolta, if she, if Charlie Sheen, Sheen would have killed her, they would have portrayed that a different story. They wouldn't have been saying domestic violence. They've been calling mm. it an accident. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah, something like that. Or uh-huh. are the other gardener did it? Oh yes, it was an accident. The, the gun dropped and automatically just. Went off, and the only re- and the only reason we found fingerprints is because his bodyguard and Marky Mark finally coming out t- t- uh, sixteen Boy. years later that he was a racist. Is you saying that's what you saying that happens with white people in Hollywood? Uh, and then he only comes we never out know the truth. And then he only comes out because the guy's like, "Oh, are I you can, saying I can I be, forgive him? Are you saying I can be a big star of a famous series and my wife can die in my swimming pool and I will never get charged with that? Is it what you saying? Not with your skin tone." Hello. I mean, give me a break. You'll be just we like know you'll it's be wrong. just like OJ sitting up in jail for stealing your own shit. Why Robert Blake is probably playing golf right now. <laughs> <laughs> Same situation. Same situation. Except one, the media demonize and dehumanize Robert Blake's wife. Until next week. Peace.